Bishop Gachengo to commit our offerings into the hearts of God and that as we do that we will each and every one of us as we give and whatever we are going to give as it goes for the noble cause there shall be a special basket here kindly it is only for the ones uh, the VIP so the rest of us we the clergy Nataka kusikia neno ambalo litaku 
atafuatwa na Reverend Mary wa PCA tusomee somo la pili na tutabariki wa karibuni from verse 6 6 to 13 behold behold you shall call a nation that you do not a nation that did not know you shall learn to you because of the lord you are god out of the whole one of the israel for he has glorified you seek the lord while allow me to introduce the people that are serving with us here and then we will hear the word if you are a leverage please be upstanding We are here just to pray with us in Jesus name all the bishops apostles and uh, the senior clergy please let's be upstanding you are able to see your pastors here and even your friends pastors kindly receive our love and let's appreciate all these servants of God <laughs> one caskets before us and even more painful because these are young children aged children and therefore it's not an easy day but then the same god is so gracious that he comforts us even in times like this i bring the condolences of the presbyterian church of east africa the proprietor of the school and a number of children belong to our church However, our condolences go to all the families that are affected by, uh, by these untimely death. They are young people. But God, in his own grace, knows how to attend to us. And that's why we are speaking his counsel in times like now. So we want to thank the Fraternity of Kraje in Nyeri County because they have worked with the families. And they have enabled them to be strong to date. Honorable Egadi Gashagwa. And I also see other leaders. They have never felt lonely. They have never felt alone. They have found care. They have found a shoulder to lean on. When all those things have happened, may God spare your mind, parents, so that you remain sane, so that you remain alert. So that you are not overwhelmed by death and fire. That is the prayer that Kariara offered. That do not set me madness. Spare my might. Even though two readings were led to us very clearly to continue with their studies. And we pray that there will be no trauma for those returning to school. The school has existed many years before without a fire. Therefore, that was an incident, painful as it is, was beckoning. Would Jesus do something like that today? I can even attend to the man in prison. I am aware he is in prison. 
I know what is ahead. Look at what I've been able to do. Meaning, although he was persecuting people, it was God who was feeling the pain. So God has also suffered. Because the Lord told him, why do you persecute to trouble? I will speak the first language. I was taught by my mother or my parents. So Jesus is speaking in his mother tongue. That is how it is recorded. Eloi, Eloi, Lama Zabakithani. Translated, my father, my Ashamed. 
yalikuwa yamesikia habari zako lakini sasa kutokana na vile umeelezea ma mwenyewe na kutubu katika mavubi na majivu this man has not been sorted yet he is still without children he is still without livestock he is still without friends i don't know at what point the wife came back in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name amen amen injured we also appreciate all who responded to the rescue of the children including our own good shepherd center so many have come out to start with the families in this long journey of identification and acceptance i invite all of us who have been grieved by this tragedy to have recourse to god's mercy as we can never understand or find satisfactory reason for it we send paul we are consoled as we pray for this belong to the lord for this very reason christ died and returned to life so that he might be the lord of both the dead and the living a quote from loman Mashira, 